really stinky chemicals are going to be hormone disruptive for the body. So here, if we're seeing that estrogen is neuroprotective and neuroregenerative and has an antioxidant effect on the brain, and then we're exposed to these chemicals and materials that don't allow us to produce that estrogen in the brain, then that would be a risk factor for Alzheimer's, right? I think we just really have to be cognizant of like strong smelling chemical type things like Febreze or candles or soaps or laundry detergents or so it has to be it doesn't it can't have a scent to it you know I mean essential oils are different like they're a different kind of they're not like chemical perfumes but these other perfumes have these volatile chemicals in them and remember when you're smelling something the the olfactory bulbs are the place that are protected by the blood brain barrier so that's why our brain is so susceptible to things that we're inhaling a lot of times i'll get a headache immediately with that stuff and it's good my brain's texting me like um alert poison <laughs> you know and then i know to go find fresh air but i can't imagine living in that can't imagine living in all that and your body just having to detox all that all the time so we want to alleviate the body's burden um and make things easier for ourselves right